Mourning the loss of a music legend who had ties to the Bay Area, Jimmy Buffett, the man who turned the beach life into a billion dollar career, has passed away tonight at the age of 76. Welcome in. I'm Jack Royer. Allison has the night off. And even if you don't know his name, you probably know that song, Margaritaville. Buffett, like his laid back Key West rhythms, was a symbol of the carefree beach bum life. His career spanned more than half a century. His millions of fans, known as Parrot Heads, flocked to his concerts. In an interview in 2018, Buffett said he was glad he offered them a way to escape life's daily grind. I think everybody needs a little escapism. You'd see people coming from work, taking their ties off and putting their Hawaiian shirts over their, uh, over their suits. Tonight, some of his fans packed a bar in Gulfport to remember the well-known and beloved singer-songwriter. The performer this evening was a musician who knew him well. Guitarist Roger Bartlett is a former member of Buffett's original band. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker spoke with him and joins us live from Gulfport with this story. Justin, good evening. Jack, good evening to you. Hundreds of musicians contributed to Jimmy Buffett's Coral Reefer Band during his 50-year career. Guitarist Roger Bartlett was the first. Together they tour as an acoustic duo for the release of Buffett's most beloved song. How many people get a chance to know a cultural icon? Roger Bartlett met Jimmy Buffett while opening for him at a club in Nashville in the early 1970s. A year and a half later, he became the original guitarist for Buffett's Coral Reefer Band. It was so great to be there in the early days and to, to kind of climb the ladder, you know, holding on to his coattails and, and um, you know, those are memories that, you know, I'll never lose. By 1977, Bartlett had left the band, but he remembers flying down to Miami for the recording of the Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes album featuring Buffett's most iconic song, Margaritaville. And the bass player, Harry Daly, used to say, you know, you know, that, that intro like the... Was your lick and i was like nah nah and nah. i listened to that tape and here i am i said it is my lick saturday night in gulfport bartlett paid tribute to the legendary singer songwriter entrepreneur and friend Down in Dallas, former st petersburg mayor rick christman considers himself a parrot head he says he attended more than 25 of buffett's concerts and the last time he was in tampa we saw him and I just thought he was going to be like Willie Nelson. He was going to keep playing into his 80s. While serving in the state legislature 12 years ago, Christman issued the proclamation recognizing Jimmy Buffett Day in the state of Florida. Everything he's done, the environment and how much he cares about this state and cared about this state, uh, it was just stunning to me that you know, we never recognized him for it. Buffett passed away Friday night, surrounded by family, friends, and of course, music. I think Jimmy's uh, already enjoying a cheeseburger in paradise. Right now. <laughs> well, I'm sure if that's available there, he is, yes. And Jimmy Buffett's legacy will live on not only with his music, but also the hotels and resorts bearing the Margaritaville name. We're live tonight in Gulfport. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.